Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be filming my October favourites video. Um, yeah, I know it, I'm a couple days early towards the end of the month, but I'm sure that in 2-3 days I'm not going to find anything that I want to add to this video, and if I do I'll add it to next month. So I'm just going to go over some of my favourite um, items that I have been loving through the whole month. So firstly I'll start with like some face products. So. Um, one of my favourites for the month has been these 3-in-1 cleansing wipes from Target. They are Target branded and I got mine in the cucumber scent. Now it says that they cleanse, tone, moisturise and remove makeup and they're enriched with cucumber extract. These really remind me of the Yes to Cucumber wipes for a fraction of the price. So the Yes to Cucumber wipes are amazing, but they do cost $10 a packet. Um, these ones you get $25 in a pack, and they are $3 from Target. And they just smell wonderful. They really have this nice, refreshing cucumber scent. They are... Um, you know, sometimes you get them wipes and you take them out and I swear, as soon as they hit the air, they just dry up and they are completely useless and you find that you're using tons and tons and tons of them to try and take your makeup off. These ones don't do that. You just use one and just wipe off everything. Like, mascara, the thickest mascara, all your foundation, everything. Everything. This just works amazing. And even in the morning when I wake up, um, I'll take one of these just to freshen up my face, just to remove any residue from my night cream or anything. And it just it wakes you up and it makes you feel great and ready for the day. So definitely I've been loving them this month. So I recommend you go check them out at Target for $3. Um, my next favourite of the month would have to be um, this Pure Soft Lips Pomegranate 100% Natural Organic Lip Conditioner. Now this has been fantastic. Like it is spring and yes it's getting warmer but we have had some windy weather around and windy weather means dry lips. So this thing has been fantastic. Um, I did talk about it in my um, Silly Spring tag video but um, the main ingredients are coconut oil, um, olive oil, beeswax, jojoba oil, um, shea butter, pomegranate extract and vitamin E and it's certified organic and they're made in Australia I believe. Yes they are. So yeah and the pomegranate scent is its something different. It's not it's like a natural sweet smell and I love this. Your lips just drink it up if that makes sense. It doesn't linger around. It doesn't feel like waxy or sticky or anything like that. It just feels really good on the lips. So I definitely recommend you go and find this and pick it up. Um, my next favourite for the month would have to be... Oh gosh, what am I... Let me just... Oh, here it is, huh? My Bourjois 123 Perfect Foundation. Um, so, yeah, one thing I love about Bourjois is the fact that they can match my skin tone perfectly. So for people like me who have a light to light medium skin tone with a yellow undertone, you'll know that it is just hard to find a foundation that will match your skin. You either go too light and you end up with pinky undertones or you go too dark and you end up with orangey undertones and it just looks off. So I have been loving this. I think Bourjois are great for making this sort of... Um, the sort of right colour foundation to match people with a similar skin tone to me and it has just been great. It is just a medium coverage foundation but it really just helps to perfect everything and even it all out and it does last a fair amount of time and it doesn't fade off bad. Like some foundations they fade off, they oxidise, they look patchy. At the end of the day it just, it may have faded off but it does it nicely so you don't look tragic by the end of the day so yes I have been loving that um, another one of my favorites has been the dream mousse blush in cloud wine and this is it here it's relatively new I did pick it up like a couple of days ago but I'm gonna add it to my favorites just because it is the most amazing product so you can apply it with your fingers you can apply it with a brush and unlike cream blushes that I tend to struggle with because I find they are overly pigmented and sometimes they're a bit hard to blend um, this one just blends like a dream so I definitely recommend if you haven't got these go and get some um, if you've been put off of 
um, cream blushes before, then this mousse blush by Maybelline is absolutely fantastic. Um, another one of my favourites, we'll go to the eyes, has been these eyeshadow palettes by Elizabeth Arden. Um, so I have mine in Velvet Plum Tones and Neutral Cashmere's. Now this is how they look. I love the packaging. They're very, very pretty. They're very sturdy and nice I don't know how you'd explain it um but this one has is the um neutral cashmere's palette and this one is the velvet plum tones palette now these eyeshadows have been fantastic and they have been my go-to palettes all all month um for like just natural looks I'm wearing it now if you watch the get ready with me video you'll notice that I use um the neutral cashmere's palette and these eyeshadows are just they are pigmented, they have great like transfer, oh, they are just buttery and velvety and just, I love these eyeshadows. The downside of it is that these palettes are $55 each normally. Um, I was lucky enough that my local chemist, pharmacy, whatever you want to call it, was actually having a clearance on some of their Elizabeth Arden stuff. I believe they're changing the packaging type. So I picked these up for only $15 each. So from $55 down to $15, which was an amazing buy because I love these and they're just great everyday eyeshadows to try out. So yes, um, I don't know if I can think of anything else that's been my favourite this month. Um, as you know, the Ulta 3 lipsticks I've been loving too, but if you follow my channel you would have seen that already. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. That's pretty much my favourites for the month of October. If I've forgotten anything, I will put it into next month's favourites video. So yeah, um, be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for any videos that you might want me to do, then please let me know. Uh, also, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys.